Alrighty, let's get started here. It is one month, three days. Looks like we killed about a hundred zombies yesterday. And god, look at these guys ravenously eating all of my food. And on that note, I'm actually gonna put into action one of my ideas that I had last time, which is you know, maybe thin the ranks a little bit. Yeah, look how fast this fish is going. Jeez, guys. Oh my god. It's almost all gone. It's gonna be gone soon. Well, maybe I can... I need to grab some of this to give two survivors. So I'm gonna take three of these guys out into the world and fight some zombies with them. And maybe... So the, some of them will get killed if they are not worthy. So we have to have some of them prove their worth to Spiffo. Alright, so I got a bunch of stuff. Let's take a look at my journal here. Let's see who I'm going to take out. Who do I have marked as, uh, as warriors? Hmm. So I guess Colin, Kira, and Kirsty. Kirsty, I have some doubts about. She's kind of a dumbass. So we're going to see whether she's actually worthy or not. She has to prove her worth in battle now. Alright, so I'm going to wrangle these guys. I'll get the three of them uh, all grouped up, ready to follow me. Uh, and we'll cut back once I actually have them ready. This takes a little while to wrangle these guys up. They're always going off and doing stupid shit. So, let's get these guys together. And so, I almost have these guys together. But you know, looking over my crops, yeah, Nolan is harvesting cabbages. Yes! Our cabbages are coming in. Finally, I don't have to fish every day. Alright, well, we're gonna stop what we're doing here and get these cabbages harvested. Oh, there's Kira. Been waiting for you. Here, take this fish. Oh, can I just give her my food? Whatever. Oh, no, I give her a cricket. <laughs> Why? Why? Eh, whatever. Yeah, and she wanders off looking for more food. Yeah, I'm trying to give these guys some food so that they won't complain while we're out. They won't keep wandering off. Here, have a cabbage. Um, when your survivors harvest the crops, that goes into your inventory for some reason. So I have a bunch of cabbages already. But let's get these bad boys harvested. See how many we get. I'm already getting some farming skill. That's always a good thing. Not that I'm really going to be using the, har the farming skill, but... I mean, I guess if the crops get diseased or something, I can cure them. Because I don't think survivors know how to do that. They just plant water and harvest. Yeah, a corpse sitting here in our field. I guess it's just extra fertilizer. Ah, yes, cabbages. I don't have to fish every day. Finally. Looks, looks like nothing else has really grown yet, though. So I'm wondering if these are actually going to last. We'll find out, though. It's a hell of a lot better than having to go fish every day, though. Hundred thirty cabbages. You know, I'm gonna eat one myself. Cause I'm a little bit hungry. Mmm, cabbage. Here, Kira, take a cabbage. You're welcome. Ah. 
That's good, because this fish is almost gone. Yeah, it was gone completely. So let's get these in the fridge. Hey guys, we got fresh cabbage. I hope you like cabbage, because that's all we're going to be eating for a while. We got fish filet. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to finish wrangling these guys up, and we'll come back when I'm ready to go. All right, my fellow survivors, allons-y. Let us go out into the world and reclaim it from the zombie menace. It's time for you to all prove your worth to Spiffo, our lord and savior. So, I already got some likely candidates over here. Wandered, must have wandered in from the helicopter event. Drawn in from other places, so get them, guys. Let's go. Yeah, kick their ass. No, kick their ass. Don't. There we go. So I believe Kira has a machete. Colin has a nightstick. And Kirsty has an axe. No, Kira has an axe. Kirsty has a machete. Well, let's see if we got, got any more zombies around here. Definitely want to secure the area around our base for sure. Any zombies that got uh, drawn over from the helicopter event that happened yesterday? Got two more. We'll see if my survivors can take these guys. Sort of. Yeah, they gang up on them pretty good. It's not bad. Let's see if we got any alcoholic zombies at the bar. They always seem to congregate around the bar. Mm, yeah, we do. Look at these drunks. Always hanging out by the bar. Mmm, this might be too many. So we're gonna clock them. Blap, blap, motherfuckers. <laughs> millimeter extended magazine Glock. It's a pretty good gun. Uh, I thought I saw someone in here though. Somebody wandered into the pastry shop. Yeah, here they come. Get him guys. Nice. Good job fellas. Fella and ladies. Do I? What's going on here? There we go. Alright, let's get the Glock reloaded. We will continue on. Continue having our survivors prove their worth, pull their weight, justify all the goddamn fish they've eaten. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to just kill these guys. Like, if I just wanted to kill them, I'd just shoot them. But I want to give them a chance to survive. But we also have a few too many survivors, I hate to admit. It's a struggle to feed them all. So we do need to thin the herd a bit. So, time for some trials. Trials and tribulations. <laughs> Guys, I've been killing all these zombies. It's time for you to get out there. Can I get them? Come on, guys. Yeah, Kirsty's got the right idea. Oh, oh, oh. No, oh, Kirsty. 
Uh, she brought it back. Oh, yeah, pro tip guys, don't walk up to a zombie and immediately turn your back. <laughs> survivors. Well, this one has a hunting knife. Alright, let's continue on. Try to clear some of the neighborhoods, maybe. So we can loot the houses in peace at some other point. Well, I haven't seen any more so far. I think we're getting close to the area where the helicopter is run, though, so we're probably going to start running into more. And there's a few over by that house. Alright, it's game time. Survivors. Chosen of Spiffo, time to prove your worth. There's quite a few around here, actually. Hmm. This might get hairy. My guy's even odds. Oh. One of them got bit already. Damaged. Looks like they didn't actually take any damage, though. Let's try to pull some. Looks like they're in the house and in the woods. These guys are going to go attack, and uh, we won't be able to disengage. So, fight! Fight for your lives! Wow, Kirsty, you are pretty fucking stupid. I don't know if you're going to make the cut. Colin and Kira, though, they're doing pretty good. You out, guys. Here, get him. Get him. Fight. Get him. There's more coming. Kill him. Not bad, Kira. Kira and Colin, you guys are doing pretty good. Kirsty, I'm not so convinced. I've got a police zombie. So they got a shotgun, they got a ammo, and a decent revolver, bulletproof vest is fucked up. Yeah, Kirsty. Come on now. Ooh, she is down. Kirsty's down. Oh no. Poor Kirsty. Sorry, I talk shit about you. But also not very sorry because you got yourself killed. I was kind of right. <laughs> Alright, let's drag her out into the street here. Yeah, we'll have to pick her up with a meat wagon later. Let's see if anything good she's got. Food and water. Alright, Kira and Colin, we gotta continue on. Is anybody else around here? Let's just shout a bunch. Maybe I'll get them to come. Yeah, looks like that's it. Quite a battle. Already had our first casualty. It's unfortunate. Got some more over here. Let's get them, guys. I guess I'll get them for you. These guys' combat AI is pretty good. They just walk up and immediately turn their back on them. Like, Kirsty got hit in the neck, or Kira got hit in the neck right here. Alright, let's see if we can get any more out. Looks like just the one. Oh, no, I hear more. Like coming out? 
keep shouting. Coming through the trees there. Get him, guys. Yeah, good job, Kira. You are proving yourself worthy. I think at this point it's safe to say that you, you two have earned your keep. Try to keep you alive, keep you in the base. But first, it's time to continue on. Let's kill some more. It is 1440. A little late, but we still got plenty of time. Got three of them over here. Okay, you guys just stand back and watch, I guess. <laughs> Show you how it's done. Or just walk up to him and stop. Like idiots. Yeah, we got some more up there. Uh, looks like quite a few. Alright, guys, let's fight. Come on, let's fight. Nice. Good job, Kira. They seem to be pretty decent at supporting you. Just fighting on their own, they not very good at it. Wasn't there one over here in the trees? What else we got? You guys see any? Well, let's move on. This house? Is this a survivor house or did I kill these zombies? I think I killed these zombies. This is the house that we got the needle from. The elusive needle. Finding a needle in a haystack. That's what it was like. You guys doing alright? Yeah, do a medical check here. Yeah, you're, you should seem to be fine. Let's keep going here. Yeah, this is where the helicopter ran for quite a while yesterday, so... I don't think we're going to be able to fight these many zombies in melee. But we can whip out the clock. Wow. Start spraying. I think I got three mags for this thing. We'll still do one mag at a time. Plenty of nine millimeter ammo. So stand back, guys. I got this one. You're not going to take care of him, Colin? Guess not. You're lucky I like you, Colin. I would have left you to the zombies. It's a pretty good gun. Certainly mowing them down. Check our six. I feel a little bit safer with these two survivors with me. I won't get crept up on from behind. But 
I definitely wanted to take advantage of having all these zombies grouped up here from the helicopter to take them out before they disperse. So we are certainly doing so. Counting shots with this gun, though. I always lose track before I get to 30. And I got to open up some more boxes. I think there's 30 rounds in each of these. It's one, two, three clips. Well, not quite, because we didn't quite fill this one. A long range on this clock. Let's just keep clearing them out. Looks like we're almost done here. Guys, we'll, we'll get to letting you fight. There's just too many of them for you. I know you're eager to prove your worth after all that shit I talked about, Kirsty. Don't want to end up like her. Let's get fully reloaded here. I got a big, another, another big group. A lot of them. Damn. Man, Damien, he's becoming quite the quite the gunslinger. May just be the player though. If you download a gun mod, gotta use the guns. Yeah, it takes a while to reload these things. Yeah, look at them all shambling out of the trees. No one behind us? Nope. Okay, definitely need to open more boxes of ammo now. It's 1620, still got plenty of time in the day. Okay, let's get eyes on some more of them. Come on. We should go around the other side of these trees. See if we can't see him. See him a little better from the other side. Yeah. I don't think there's any more coming towards us. What are we doing on ammo? Doing alright. Alright, let's head around here. Let's see if we can't see a little bit better from the back. Get out into this field. There's a group there, group there. Pretty big one. So 
We'll gun these ones down. Ah, the beauty of full auto. So far, so good. You know, once we get these guys taken out, that's probably going to be most of the zombies left in West Point. Because the helicopter would have drawn them in from quite a ways. We were here for quite a while. I think the area was loaded. Well, we could only hope. Find out. As we start moving around the town, but I'm hoping. I think this is the road near our fishing spot. Maybe. No, this is further down. It's not our fishing spot. <laughs> there are not enough here to justify the use of guns, so let's go in, guys. Let's get them. Charge! Thank you, Colin. Still more in there? Yeah, there's one coming. Yeah, these guys seem pretty good at killing the zombies when they come out of the windows. I wonder if the zombies don't do the ground attack on them? Maybe they do, but they killed them too fast. I don't know. Good job, guys. Let's keep going. 17-10. Getting a little late. Not too bad. Got a straggler. I guess we should probably start looping back kind of towards the base. Start backtracking. So we're not too far away when it's getting dark. Got some more zombies in the street there. Yeah, too many for melee. So let's pull out the Glock. boxes. Oh, I have another bag in here. Yeah, that was the third one. Okay. I knew I had three of them. So, open four boxes. I'll reload while we walk. Should we go this way? Let's go this way. See what there is to see. Another group. Got one sitting on the garage there. Yeah, these trees are kind of blocking the view. A little 
little bit, a little bit tough to see. Uh, we can reposition. coming out. That is one lucky zombie. But not for long. Seventeen fifty. Definitely need to start making some progress back towards the base. Alright guys, let's fight. Now's your chance. Prove yourselves. <laughs> or don't. Just make me do everything myself. Let's see how it is. Get him. Get him, my fellow survivors. Good job. Sounds like there's more up there. in the bathroom maybe. Do we go in here? No, well, I guess we do. Hmm, that seems pretty dangerous. We're just gonna walk away. Colin, look, I know you want to prove your worth, but don't go in the dangerous place. Uh, another big group. Gonna have to shoot. You know, this trip is turning more into showing these guys why I'm the leader. <laughs> Less about them killing. I was hoping we could get through that group with just one clip, but apparently not. I got one that came in behind us. Let's see if these guys have broken out of their doors yet. So we are going to have to kill these zombies eventually. Let's machete. I need to waste all of our ammo. Well, it's not really a waste if you're putting it in zombies. <laughs> Whiffed it. Yeah, it looks like there's some more along this tree line. Bunch in that house. Now's your chance, guys. Time to prove your worth. Get him. Wow, they really are. Oh no, Colin. Colin. Oh no. I oh, might be done for. Colin, I like where your head's at. Applaud your enthusiasm. But don't jump through windows. Or there's a shitload, of, a shitload of zombies on the other side. No, he's on his own. He would have zombified by now if he was dead. Or if he was got infected. Alright, let's keep fighting. Fine, Colin. Get him. Attack. 
don't jump through the window. <laughs> Kira, I, you got good enthusiasm. Well, that works pretty good. You guys have definitely proven your worth. Congratulations. You get to live. If we can make it back to base alive, it is 1840. Yeah, hour 20 minutes till sundown. So let's start heading back. Corpse pile. I'll come back and loot these zombies at some point. I prefer to you know, do my trips with a specialization. I'll do killing trips and then I'll do looting trips. Just to maximize how much I can do each thing. Alright, let's go down this road. Start heading back. These guys don't walk as fast as I do. Which is unfortunate. Maybe it's because I have a higher sprinting skill. Maybe sprinting skill makes you light-footed, maybe. Makes you walk faster. Some kind of skill makes you walk faster, obviously. Otherwise, these guys would be able to keep up with me. Hey, there's that purple Corvette. So let's buy gap in a fence. Okay. We won't take it right now because I won't be able to fit both of these guys in it. Come back for it later. Got a couple zombies over here. Saw one walk into the house. Let's do a little shouting, see if we can lure him out. Cabbage. Alright, well, let's move on. It's 1920. Gotta start making progress back towards the base before we all get overwhelmed by sprinters. Well, they'll get overwhelmed by sprinters. I'll get away. But they've proven themselves worthy. I don't want these guys to get killed. Should be back towards kind of where we were. Where uh, Kirsty died. So you're like laying there in the street. I have to pick her up with the meat wagon. Probably tomorrow. But you just have to lay where you are for now, Kirsty. came up this street, actually. So there shouldn't be too many zombies around. It's 1930. A half hour to get back to base. Well, we're pretty close, so I'm sure we'll make it in time. If these guys can, uh, Get their asses in gear. <laughs> yeah, a couple zombies over here at the gas station. 
You will machete. There you go. You guys take care of him. Good job. Looks like one clothing rack survived the fire in that building. I didn't notice that before. Alright, it's 1940. Let's get a move on, guys. I know I run faster than you and kill more zombies than you, and I'm just better in every way, but come on, let's go. Yeah, looks like they get caught on each other. Kind of do like a stumbling. Stumbling run. But it's whatever. 1950. I don't think there's any more zombies around here, but just in case, let's get back to base, guys. And we make it just in time. Alright. Well, that was a pretty good excursion. One casualty, but wasn't a huge fan of Kirsty to begin with. Alright, so you guys get back to base, take a break. You've earned your dinner of cabbage. <laughs> Which is all you're gonna be eating for quite a while now. And let's get these let's get this uh get this notebook updated. So Colin. Worthy. Kira, worthy. Kirsty, dead. Oh, and yeah, the MAA survivor is back. Okay. Alright, well, let's see what we do next. Well, honestly, I just need to fuck around in the base and. Clear the survivor's inventory, do some random chores. Nothing that's really particularly uh, riveting, you would say. So I think I'll do that off camera, and we'll just end here. These guys are gathering wood like they should. So we're gonna have wood for days, plenty of wood. But anyway, I think we'll end here. It's a good day, minus the death of Kirsty. So I'll catch you guys next time for another day in World War Z. Peace. Oh, let's see how much cabbage we got. Ooh, Amy's stealing it all. God damn it, Amy. Alright, ending for real this time. Peace.